This is Julia Whitup with Talk Story TV, and this is our author school show. Tomor this morning we have on the air with us Randy Feldman, and she's going to talk to us about how what a publicist does. So, hi, Randy. Hi, Julia. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> so, tell us, you're a publicist. You've been a publicist for 25 years, right? Oh, for 25 years. Um, I started out working for a business publisher and then was lucky enough to um, work for the publisher of Chicken Soup for the Soul and um, was part of the team that helped make it a New York Times best-selling uh, series. I um, originally started out in the PR department there and then became the product manager for the Chicken Soup for the Soul series. Cool. Yeah. And now, and how long have you been doing it out on your own? I've been on my own about eight years and I have a very small little boutique um, PR company. It's just me and I work for my home office and I specialize in working with authors. Um, neat. I have my own little niche and, and what I work, who I work with are authors that um, are self-published or uh, first published, you know, it's their mm -hmm. first book and um, they, are, they either self-published it themselves or they're working with boutique publishers and they need um, just a little bit of a boost to get their book noticed because um, it's very, there's so many books, at least 60,000 books published every year. So really the challenge is um, a couple things, is getting the book noticed and um, trying to have people, and distribution of the book as well, which I don't really, they, I really have nothing to do with distribution, but they kind of work hand in hand. So, you know, distributors or wholesalers or bookstores don't want to take books unless there's uh, publicity that goes along with the book. So there's a whole, it's a whole pie that goes, that needs to get made for an author once a book is published. Okay, and so you make that... Uh publicity kit or media well, kit or well what I do is a couple things I have a couple um, a couple products that I I work with um, we could either you know I could either do a full-blown publicity campaign from soup to nuts where we start out um, with um, you know uh, sending out reviews six months before a book is published and looking for magazine articles because most magazines have a six month to a year lead time so about six months to a year before a book is published we'll start doing that we'll start looking for our, our niche you know if, if it's a book about cooking then we'll be looking for cooking bloggers or we'll be looking for cooking shows or you know mm -hmm. just depending on, on who you are and what your book is and you know what your platform is um, so this can go on anywhere from three to six months so uh, um, you know a couple months before uh, the book is published then when the book is published the you know publishing date then there's uh, book signings to be set up uh, radio interviews TV interviews you know newspaper so it, it's it's a it can go anywhere from three months to six months and it's all-encompassing um, that I do and you know that is pretty much what a, a publicist will do um, if you hire a big New York agency or if you hire a small agency like mine I found a couple years ago that um, there's a lot of people that and authors this is their first book and they don't they're just sticking their toe into the waters and they really don't know how to how to get that book out there just to get the the basics out there so I have a little product that I put together and it's called a uh, PR mini and this is not expensive at all and basically it is um, 600 books independent bookstores and um, book reviewers and uh, mostly radio and I send out um, a flyer a press release to them and so it gets the information out there for um, to bookstores, independent bookstores that normally wouldn't 
um, have the information because their publisher doesn't send it out. A big publisher will send out information to independent bookstores, but a boutique publisher or a small publisher normally doesn't. They deal with like um, Barnes and Noble or Amazon, you know, the big, the big yeah. retailers. So my, my goal in, in, with this mini is to, to, you know, I believe in shopping locally and I think it's a great way to get a grassroots, uh, let's talk about the book, um, if the independent bookstores have a shot at it. So um, this mini goes out and it's maybe like a two week thing where, you know, the books go out, the, I'm sorry, the flyer goes out electronically, the bookstores hear about it, the reviewers hear about it if they want to review it, they uh, send me back an email or they'll call me and of course media will want to book it. And it's a, it's a very like fast and frenzied little PR launch, I mean, it's not for anything long term, and it's not very niche, and it's there's no marketing really involved with it. But it's a nice way for a first time author to, um, you know, just get their book out there. And it's you know, it's six ninety nine for the whole package, which is really unheard of for PR for a book. So that that part's nice. Uh huh. Okay, and. You mentioned earlier something about platform, and I've heard that many times, but I have no idea what it is. Well, platform is your subject. So if you wrote a book um, about, um, let's say let's say you wrote a cookbook that uh, I just finished a cookbook with a lady that took all her mother-in-law's recipes and put them in for a, uh, in a cookbook for, for Christmas. So her her platform is cooking and cooking shows and Italian and so there's all kinds of different ways you can market that book depending on what the book's about. An another book that I, I'm working on right now is for a gentleman that um, he was illiterate and could not read until he was 54 years old and uh, he's now 92 so when he, <laughs> yeah it's amazing and he's out there doing all kinds of publicity for it. He, he became part of Barbara Bush's uh, literacy campaign. And um, he goes out and speaks about literacy and that's his platform. Okay. So, it, so, it, so I work a lot with nonfiction authors. So whatever they're writing about, that's what their platform is. Okay, okay. I couldn't figure, I wasn't quite sure what that was. So you have over in this mini, you contact over 600 radio shows and bloggers. Oh, no. I'm and sorry. I, can, I, contact, I contact over 600 independent bookstores. I have a list of oh, all okay. the independent bookstores in the United States, and um, we send out a flyer or a press release to every single one of them, uh, referring them back to the publisher or the author, if it's a self-published author, mm -hmm. to sell the books. I don't... I don't ever get into the sales part of it. I only get into the publicity part of it. Right. So once we send out um, the information to um, the bookstores, the next uh, rung on that ladder is reviewers. Because you've got to have reviews. You uh -huh, just uh -huh. have to have people that are talking about your book. So I have a list of, of book reviewers, and I send out the flyer with a query saying, if you'd like to... Um, if you'd like to review this book, then send me back a return email and we'll get the book out to you. And um, then they post it all over, Goodreads, Amazon, uh, book blogs. It depends on who the book reviewer is. I have a very large list of book reviewers. And then mm -hmm. the last rung on that ladder is uh, media. And I love, 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 love radio because... An author doesn't have to travel, especially a first-time author who I, you know, I deal with a lot of first-time authors, mm -hmm. and they don't really have the budget to travel and do a big book show, you know, book tour. So it's nice for them because radio you can do in their, your pajamas at two in the morning. It doesn't matter, and that's really how Chicken Soup really took off because Jack Canfield and Mark Victor Hansen, they basically whoever called them whenever they called them. They always did the radio shows. They always did the media. And that's how things work oh. with them. 
And if you think about publicity, this is what I always tell my authors, because I don't really meet my authors. I'm in South Florida, and my authors that I work with are all over the country. So I really have a phone relationship with them. I don't really meet them face to face. And I tell them to think about publicity like this. It's like a pyramid. So if you think of the bottom of the pyramid as um, radio, uh, local you know, stuff, that you could do local libraries, local bookstores, and you build your pyramid all the way up to the top, which would be, um, you know, TV or national TV. When I first started in the business, and this is going to date me because I've been doing this for so long, Oprah was the top of the pyramid. Everybody wanted to be on Oprah. Yeah. And, and that's how they felt that they were going to sell their books. But any kind of national exposure is great. Now, I, I'm working with a... Um, a gentleman now, his name is John Rixie Moore, and he's an actor, and he he's done quite a lot of you know TV and movies, and um, he wrote two very interesting books. There are two memoirs that he wrote, and he was in a movie that just uh, came out uh, called um, Field of Not Field of Dreams, Field of Shoes, Field of Lost Shoes, and it was taking place in the Civil War, and it was a nice movie. Um, it had some decent stars in it. One of the kids from Modern Family was in it, and he was doing a whole tour for the movie in Virginia where they were launching the movie. So we did a book tour for his books along with the movie tour. So, oh, that's a great um, idea. Yeah, it was a great tie-in. So, um, I mean, there's all different kinds of things that you can do or, or tie in with your book. To, to do your media, so. Okay, well this is fascinating. So, uh, so that's the big basic thing, the independent bookstores, the reviewers, and the then the media. Yes, and there's another thing I want to talk to you about that I do, that I love, and that authors love this, and if, even if they don't do anything else, I do this thing called an electronic press kit. When I first started in this business 25 years ago, we would take a headshot and some newspaper articles and get a folder and slap them together and stick it in an envelope and mail it away snail mail. That's when media or anybody wanted uh, you know, information about one of our books. Well, now I do this electronic press kit that's almost like a website, really, basically, but it's a website about the book, about events coming up, and you know, it's fluid, so you can change it all the time. Reviews, uh, there's book covers if media wants to download the book covers. So it's a fantastic little thing to have, and I, th I recommend all authors to have one because it's just a link. So you don't have to send a lot of things electronically, you, all you have to do is send the link. If someone's asking about your book, just send the link out. And I think it's fantastic, and I think every author should have one. Every book should have one. Yes. Otherwise, you're caught unaware. Yes, because I, I know I have this TV show, and often people don't send me the stuff I need to promote it, so the book, right. the show is not going to get as much uh, publicity because I don't have anything to work with. Right. That's right. So, so you want to know all about the, the, the book and anything you, you know, I'll, I'll even put in there, um, I just did one for um, an author that uh, was born in a castle in Italy, and she was fantastic, and what we did was we, we videoed her, because there was no video of her really, and we put, it, we put the video in the press kit as well as writing about 15, I wrote about 15 questions for her so that when I send that to media, they have the questions right there in front of them and they don't have to worry about if they have the information or don't have the information. So all that goes into a press kit. Wonderful. I, as media, I can tell you I'd appreciate that. I know, right? <laughs> yes. In fact, if somebody has all the material and you get a second person who doesn't, of course, you're going to do the story with the one that has the material. Because it's course. just a lot That's easier for you. And, and the other thing is also, and this is the reason I think everybody should have a publicist, is because, and you could answer this more than probably I could. I mean, I, I'm going to say what I think. But don't you think that it looks much more professional when something is coming from 
a publicist rather than coming from the author themselves. They're too close to the the situation. It's their baby. They they birthed it, and they don't have the perspective that a, a publicist would have. And yeah, he, often it does. However, if an author is very professional, they can do just as well. But right, they have to learn it all first. Well, I, I, in my experience. I most people when they come to me they're they're happy to hand it off. They don't want to have anything to do with it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think I think that's probably that's probably true and that's why we started started author school is just to help people connect with other people who could help them. Right. So, and did you write a, an article for our newsletter, Randy? I haven't done that yet. I have to apologize. Uh, I tore my cornea last week, and I am. This is really the first thing, the first day that I'm back to work since that happened. I really couldn't even go near a computer, so okay, I'm really sorry well, about that. But I would that's be happy. Okay, we'll. I will be happy to do that. Wonderful. So she'll be doing an article for us, and tell tell them how they can get a hold of you uh, in the meantime before we sign off. Okay, sure. Um, the name of my company, it's very direct, it's called Get Noticed PR. So um, you, could, you could contact me by emailing me at getnoticed, G-E-T-N-O-T-I-C-E-D, PR at me, M-E dot com. Or uh, my website, if you want to take a look at some of the EPKs I've done or some of the uh, my clients, what we've done for them, um, my website is Randy, R-A-N-D-E-E-G-F-E-L-D-M-A-N dot com. Or call me. I would love to talk to you. My phone number is 561-392-7615. Wonderful. Okay. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you so much. And I will do that article for you. And we'll be talking soon, I hope. Of course. Thank you.